This is Kathy from Gadgets Top 321 and in today's video I'll be taking a look at Noodler's Lexington Gray. A number of people recommended that I try this ink so I picked up a sample and it took me a little while to locate a sample. They were out of stock at a lot of places um, due in part I'm sure to the times we're living in right now and probably to its popularity, but I'm going to test this in a variety of nib sizes ranging from a Pilot Extra Fine to a 1.5 stub nib. I'm trying to refine these ink test videos, so I'll be testing it in, on a good medium and poor quality paper and in my Leuch Term bullet journal. I'm going to begin with my Pilot 78G Extra Fine. I'm going to start over here. All right. This isn't bad. And I'm going to go ahead and say this is nice. The read back on it is a little iffy. It's a little borderline. Um, but if you needed to write with an extra fine nib, that was perfectly usable. Next, I've got my Sailor Pro Gear Slim with a fine nib. And this is Tomoe River, by the way. Tomoe River paper. This is the good quality paper. Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I like this nib size better. I've got just a little bit more width here. The read back is nicer. And it looks like we're going to see some shading in this sample. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, this one's nice also. Very pleasant. That feel, feels and looks almost like you're writing with a pencil. It looks like graphite. Next, I've got my Sailor LeCool with a medium fine steel nib. I'm feeling feedback and it feels quite different than the gold sailor nib because the the tipping is ground differently um i i don't know how to describe it it's not it's not unpleasant i'm going to go ahead and just put nice for an inexpensive pen like this that's a perfectly acceptable writing experience. And I, I like how it looks. All right. Next, I've got my Platinum 3776 with a medium nib. It's writing quite a bit r wider. And it looks like I'm going to see some shading here when it dries. And I'm going to go ahead and put the writing experience was nice, but the shading, and we'll come back after it dries. I don't want to be jump the gun on my judgment, but I'm, so far I'm not crazy about the way it looks in that medium nib. All right, next I've got my Caveco Perkeo All Black with a medium nib. This is a little bit smoother. Feels like it might be writing a little bit more broad also. Yeah, it looks a little wetter. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's smooth. All right, next I've got my 
Pilot Metropolitan with a cursive medium nib. And this is noticeably smoother. Let's see. This at times, it looks like this gray ink, instead of looking like a gray ink, it looks like a watered down black ink where the, the ink is puddling. It looks quite black. We'll see what it looks like after it dries. And I've got my Jinhao X750 with a 1.5 stub nib. Very smooth and satisfying to write with. I'm not sure I, how I feel about the color there, but I've got to give it time to dry. So while that's drying, this is our good quality paper. For our, my medium quality paper, I'm taking a look at um, Rhodia. And the extra fine I noted was not scratchy. The rest of the nibs were perfectly pleasant to write with. There's no sheen, but like, see on the stub nib, it's it's like a watered down black. Um, let's see, my favorite in the platinum, I normally don't like this, but see that the stark uh, shading? I don't know. In that case, it was okay. In, in the Percao, it looks kind of just splotchy. I don't know. The shading is more splotchy instead of it being um, kind of a, a subtle ombre look. I don't I don't know how I feel about that overall. But to be honest, this Lexington Gray, I need to do a water test on all my grays. I think I've finished my writing samples for all the gray inks that I own. Now I need to do a water test. I'm pretty sure this is pretty water water uh, resistant so this is more of a workhorse pen or workhorse ink um, on my poor quality paper 20 pound copy paper it bled through but really all the nibs bled through to one extent or another um, and it spreads. You can see on the stub nib how the horizontal strokes, when you compare it to some of the other inks I've tested, you can see those horizontal strokes spreading. So most of the pens were unpleasant, but the medium fine was a nice uh, compromise between the dry fine and the medium that was too wet. It was tolerable. Uh, nice is relative on this one. I would say it was more tolerable. And the Pilot Metropolitan I found on inks that spread. This cursive medium nib spreads the ink out so it, it just looks better. Instead of it spreading out on its own the flat nib spreads the ink out and it looks more crisp and nicer. So I thought the cursive medium was okay and it didn't bleed through too badly. Really on 20 pound copy paper you're not likely going to be writing on both sides so you just don't want it to look too horrible. Let's see and on my oh. Let's look at the Leuch term real quick. No unusual properties here. No sheen and no... Um, a, a little bit of shading. I guess here, well, the shading is not as pronounced 
on this paper as it is on some of the others. One of the things I wanted to note, I've got it right here beside Oroshizuku Kirasami. Kirasami is more kind of a, a velvety flat look and I don't know if this is going to show up. Lexington Gray looks kind of grainy. It looks more like you've written with a magic marker but I'm curious to see when I do the water test of these two if Kirasami has any water resistance. Lexington Gray, I have a feeling people are buying it for its water resistance. Um, okay, now let's take a look at the Tomoe River paper writing sample. Yeah, on Tomoe River, well, I was going to say the shading on the stub nib, you get that ombre look. It looks kind of nice, but it, it's a little too black for me. On the Caveco Percao, it just, it looks a little too splotchy. Um, I don't know. I think I prefer <coughs> the, <coughs> excuse me, oh, sorry. I think I prefer the medium fine. It was the best out of my favorite out of all the the nib sizes. All right. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.